Hello, and thank you for watching Sabina Reefing, where we go over product reviews and how to's, livestock, care and selection, maintenance, tips and tricks. Come on, let me show you. In this episode, we're gonna go over water testing for beginning reef keepers. So I've selected some of the more popular tests. One notable test that I don't have here is the ammonia test for new reefers. Um, I wouldn't use it very often. Uh, once you get past the cycle on your fish tank, you probably will never use it again. But it is no good to note that uh, when you're just starting out, you definitely need to cycle your tank and you need to uh, have the aquarium ready for fish and core. I'm going to be giving these test kits away, so if you'd like one of them, it's pretty simple. For nitrate, put NO3 on the comments. For calcium, put CA in the comments, and for alkalinity, put ALK in the comments, and I will pick a winner as soon as we have more than one person that's entered for each of them, and uh, I'll send these off to you. Uh, you need to be in the United States, you need to be somewhere where I can actually ship to. Um, I'll either ship these ones that have exactly one use on them, or I'll have Amazon drop you off a brand new test kit. First one is the alkalinity test kit. This is by far the most important, in my opinion, if you're keeping hard corals or even soft corals. So inside the resin seed test kit, we've got a few syringes, our instructions, and a reagent. For these tests, I'm going to be using. For these tests, I'm going to be using some of my Triton uh, mixtures. I have not looked at this uh, bottle yet, so I actually do not know what the numbers are on it, whether the DKH, the calcium, or the uh, nitrate. So when I test this, I'll be completely unbiased about what's in the water. A little red part goes on the tip. We've got our English test kit. Oh, they've changed the uh, instructions. I'll have a link in the description below to uh, if I can find a PDF of the instructions because I knew those do get lost and destroyed fairly often. Start with four milliliters of water. We're gonna add four drops of reagent A. It says stir and wait five seconds. Now we're gonna get the other reagent. Well, exactly one millimeter. I don't know if you can see this, but you'll notice there's an air bubble on the syringe. Don't worry about the air bubble that's at the top of the syringe. Basically, that's the volume below the markers. When they calculate these, they count from the markers up. So that fact that there's air bubble there doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Leave the air bubble in. You'll mess things up probably trying to do anything else. So now I'm going to slowly start dropping these in. This a little sticky. This is probably one of the most popular test kits, partially because of the price. So once you get to purple, you're not quite there yet. You can see it's already changing to pink, but it needs a little bit more. It's still really purple. I would definitely say that is complete. It has finished its titration. So you read the number on the side of the syringe. So that looks like to me 40, 41, which means I've used 59. So 0.41. So I'm somewhere between 9.3 and 8.9 on the alkalinity according to the Salford test kit. Next is the calcium test kit. Let's open it up, see what it's got in there. Very similar, we've got a test tube, instructions, more than one style of reagent. A scooping spoon. So let's see what we got here. Alright. It's asking for in the instructions, two milliliters of water. I really like the instructions now that they have actually just pictures. It makes it so much faster and easier to do these. 
It's nice to have the words so that you can uh, be sure that's what they're intending, but the pictures will make it a lot faster the majority of the time you're testing. So, two milliliters of water, one scoop of reagent number one. I tend to do a fairly level scoop, but I don't scrape and spend a bunch of time, and I just about put that in that water, the reagent water. That would have been bad. Let's move that over there. So it says 10 drops of the second reagent. The important thing when you're testing water isn't necessarily the accuracy of your test, but the consistencies of your test. So we wait 10 seconds with this, because the fact that calcium is at 400 or 410 won't make a big difference, but the fact that your calcium is going up is important, the fact your calcium is going down is important, and the general trend of what the tank in the aquarium is doing is far more important, which is one reason people start off with this, because it's inexpensive to test, and then a lot of people step up to like a trite or something like that, where it does frequent testing, which helps with figuring out what the trend is. The fact it's more accurate isn't, isn't that important. Consistent is far more important. So we got one milliliter of water. We're going to drip into this one and pretty much the opposite of the alkalinity. It starts blue and goes pink. This one's gonna start pink and change to a complete blue. Picture has it, is showing it as a baby blue. I have to look and see if that is a baby blue or something else. Starting to change colors. I would say that has changed into a baby blue. And I have 1.4 left on the needle. Point 0.14 is a calcium of 430. All right, now that we've done the calcium and alkalinity, let's see how close the Salford test kit comes to the calibration solution from the Trident. So this is tested out of Trident and is what you would calibrate your um, Trident to. So technically it is what my Trident would have registered it as because this is what I would calibrate my Trident with. So I've got a calcium, calcium of 390 in this bottle and I came up with about 430. Um, maybe if I was a little lighter on the syringe, I would have gotten a little to 420, but 430, 420, well within a reasonable range of 10%. Um, and then for the alkalinity, we got, uh, I believe it was right around uh, nine. And uh, it says 8.3, that's fine. It, it's really not important that you have an 8.3 or an 8.6 or an 8.9. Um, what's more con concerning is, hey, make sure your alkalinity hasn't turned to six. Six is gonna be a problem. Whether you're at eight or nine, not gonna make much of a difference. So I don't even worry about it under one DKH. If it was off more than one DKH, I would have been a little bit concerned about these test kits, but uh, one DKH, no. Don't worry about it, it'll be plenty accurate for your aquarium and uh, your corals. All right, we got one test left. Let's see what the nitrate test says my aquarium is at. I have not tested nitrate in a very, very long time. I will put the chart up here of nitrate. It has not been above zero since I installed Refugium which made it very boring to test. So I have a funny feeling, since I have a lot of Chato in my aquarium, uh, it's probably about a two foot by, two, well I know it's a two foot by two foot by 16 inch ball um, of Chato. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what's in this box. Oh, there's our color checker. This one is the one that uh, some people don't like because you have to read 14 different shades of pink. With the instructions say. All right, one milliliter of water. Let's go get it. One milliliter and four drops of that. One scoop of this. Gentle mix. 
seconds. So 30 seconds. So they do want you to mix it for a decent amount of time. This brings back memories. I haven't done a sulfur test kit in a while. I was using Red Sea, which is a great test kit. Sulfur was a great test kit. And I've been, since I've been in Trident, I haven't done really any testing. It just kind of gets sent to me. So, very nice to, uh, very nostalgic to come back to these. Oh, I forgot to see how long I need to set the timer for. Hey Siri, set timer for three minutes. Your timer is set for okay. three minutes, three minutes and counting. Now, time to do something fun. Look at the fish. All right. Let's take a look. I would say that's zero. So, it was zero, it still is zero. Not very exciting, but uh, at least I've tested the nitrate. If you thought this was useful, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button. And until next time, thank you for watching.